Hi, Boido here from Boido's Tech Talk, and I thought I'd put together a video showing how to upgrade a Microsoft Surface from its uh, base installation of Windows RT to Windows 8.1 RT or RT 8.1 or whatever they're calling it. So it's fairly simple. Uh, what you should generally do though is before you kick off the upgrade is just install any remaining updates to the operating system. So generally the way you do this is uh, you swipe in, go to settings, change PC settings and on the left here you'll need to go to Windows Update and if you check for updates you'll be able to uh, obviously see if there are any updates waiting for your device and kick off the installation for those. So given that I have nine there, I'm just going to kick that off and get those to install. So once that's done, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I've just installed uh, some Windows updates there and I've just checked that uh, no remaining Windows updates are waiting. So the next step in the process is to actually uh, locate and kick off the upgrade to uh, Windows RT 8.1. So the way that you do that is uh, through the Windows Store app, which is over here. And what it should do is over on the left hand side, you'll get this big purple tile saying update to Windows 8.1 for free. Now, if you don't have that, um, you may need to just close the store app like that um, and open it up again. Particularly on launch day, it was a, uh, it was a problem for people getting this uh, tile to show up. But if you did that a few times, uh, it usually fixed it up. Uh, anyway, what you do is uh, you just tap on it and you, know, you can kick off the download and it just tells you some stuff about what will happen and that sort of thing so you just tap on download <clears throat> and for RT it's 2.11 gigabytes on my 64-bit desktop it clocked in around about 3.4 gigabytes if I remember correctly um, but yeah but we'll just see what happens okay so now it's going to download and obviously downloading 2 gig will take a bit of time so I'll be back a bit later on once that uh, finishes downloading okay so we're back and uh, Obviously, it's now finished downloading the Windows RT 8.1 update. So that took a little while, um, and I did it over Wi-Fi because I don't have an Ethernet adapter for this particular surface. So you can see here your PC needs to restart. You should plug in your PC before continuing. Now, that's a very important point. Um, I'm lucky because I have fully charged the surface, but typically you would need to uh, plug it in. So all I'm going to do is um, re click restart now. It says it, it'll restart several times, um, but that's fine. So I will just let that do its thing and I will be right back. Okay, so it looks like we're pretty much done. So that's the license terms there. Settings, um, I'm just going to use the express settings there. Set up your account. So pretty much you'll just verify your account. So I will um, just pop my password in. 
and fortunately you can't see what I'm typing. Next, uh, now it'll do a text message to confirm I am who I am. So I'll just wait for that to arrive. And here we go. Two, three, two, three, five, four, seven. And you can try that all you like, but it's a one time password, so you won't be able to use my account if you're thinking about doing that. Uh, yes, yeah, SkyDrive next and finalizing your settings. And I think that might be it. Well, I hope so. All right, so here we go. So we're back. And uh, you can tell that we're on 8.1 now because we should have some extra apps on the end. So yeah, we have these new apps on the end. So there's a new reading list, food and drink, uh, there's health, help and tips as well. And uh, you can just ignore that. So uh, reading list is a function where you can um, store web pages and stuff to read later, similar to how it works on iOS. And I'm thinking this would sync also across devices as well. Um, so yeah. Hey, I just did forget to uh, just cover off a couple of important things with the upgrade. Um, first of all, there is now a start button down here, so you can see this icon here. Um, whoop. So you can tap that and that will take you back to the start screen. Or if you put your little mouse cursor on there, you can click back and forth and the um, start button will uh, remain there. So that's that's very important. Uh, that's, well, not a, maybe not important, but you know, it's a notable change from uh, plain vanilla Windows 8 or Windows RT. The big, one of the big things for Windows RT 8.1 is the addition of Outlook. This is like full proper Outlook 2013. So no longer are you relegated to just using the um, Metro or modern UI app. You actually get the full blown, uh, well, close to the full blown um, Outlook 2013 client. So um, I'm just going to say no there for the moment just so we can get in. Use Outlook without a mail client. But there you go, that's, that is Outlook. So for people looking to do some serious productivity with a Surface or another Windows RT 8.1 tablet now, you now have a fully fledged email client, which is um, nothing to sneeze at, I don't think. And you know, it, this does provide capabilities above and beyond what the um, Metro or modern UI apps uh, may provide. So look, if, if you're really keen on uh, you know, corporate or enterprise grade uh, calendar, email, etc., then that's the way to go. So that's about it. Um, the only thing that you might want to look for is uh, once you've upgraded, you may also want to uh, just check for updates once again because Microsoft released a, a general, uh, general availability update. You get these little hints popping up every now and then. So I think, yeah, it's under update and recovery. So you can just check there and you might find two or three updates there, but I won't bore you with that. So that's the upgrade process from Windows RT to Windows RT 8.1.
So if you've got any questions, just leave a comment below. If you found this handy at all, just make sure you give it a thumbs up. But as always, thanks for watching.